Cause we're differently abled, differently. You've probably met someone with patches on the skin and ruled out that they were caused by a ban. Well, that may not always be the case. It could be vitiligo, a condition that is not so widely talked about. Clifford Ocal has vitiligo and he tells his story. Vitiligo is a condition in which pigment is lost from areas of the skin, causing whitish patches, often with no clear cause. To understand better, we speak to a young man living with the condition. I am Andrew Clifford Ocal, aged 26 years old. I'm a teacher by profession. I teach history and theory, specifically at Moi Girls, Kapsoar, in Elegeo Marakwet. Uh, I'm the only child and an orphan who was uh, brought up and uh, educated by my, by my grandparents. Uh, so that's briefly about me. I'm a proud man living with vitiligo, uh, which began in 2010 when I was in Form 2. That is it. So I had to accept the vitiligo itself because I, was, I sat down and saw my grandparents were really using a lot of resources. Some were just after the money. Also, the vitiligo itself was just spreading. So I was like, let me finish school, then we'll see on the treatment first. Individuals living with the condition are stigmatized and unfairly judged by the society. Apart from schools, you'll also go to some places, like public places. We have, like, you'll go uh, for job interviews, applications. Uh, you'll meet children. You will go to people's houses. I have friends. You'll go to people's houses. So, mostly the children. You'll meet some children. Okay. Um, I, I always have a connection with children. Many will come and will joke and it is, but some will cry. Some would just run away literally and hide. Uh, if you are passing someone, children are playing, they will just stand there and look at you and like, hey. yeah, and no children don't know. They just say, hey, una wu, muta na fanana haji. So I answer the number, yes, I'm black and white American. Yeah. So, so, uh, and even the small girls, will, only the small girls will come and tell you, Salimi, Sasa. But the boys will share away. They will just be there <laughs> discussing. <laughs> yeah. So about interviews, you'll go to like public places and people will be like, hey, what is, who is this man? And why is he like this? So there, there are those who will receive you, you'll just see from their facial expressions and actions. Some will just embrace you and attend to you, but some will resist. So you'll go to, you find a secretary like, he's talking, she's talking to you or he's talking and he's, he's not attentive or she's not attentive or she's not even concerned. She's attending to you like you came to just waste his or her time there. Yeah. So, also, you'll be working in markets, towns. Let me say, Nairobi people don't care much. They will just look at you. Some will have already seen such. But you'll go to the villages, like where I come from, Oyugi, Somabe, or you go to Kisi, or walking in Eldore town, or somewhere else. People will be just standing there looking at you. This totally unique man. They'll assume, they'll come with assumptions. Ah, he was banned. Ah, it's a curse. Ah, it's a disease. Yeah, so that's uh, now, at that, that point, some will say uh, it spreads through physical contact, so some will not want to greet you. <clears throat> some will tell you, like, uh, it's painful, he's feeling pain while he's walking, he's feeling pain, he cannot admit. And I know myself, so I'll just let the assume at least they have known that someone like me exists. Next time when I come back, they will acknowledge you. Despite the challenges, Okali is happy that not all are against him, as there are those that offer support in whatever way they can. I remember at the assembly, because I came in when they were in church on a Sunday. So on Monday, we have the introduction at the assembly. So everyone is just like, this tall, unique man, <laughs> who is he? So I go and I'm like, I want to look for they are wow. It is. So after assembly, everyone is now on you. These are now the girls. You know, the boys were assuming, the girls now want to know. They want to know everything. So they're like, 
greet me. Uh, let us touch your hands. What happened? So as you explain, I just told them we'll get a platform and I'll tell you everything. Because you cannot go around telling each and everyone this, 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 this. Yeah, so when I came, I explained to them everything. And they're like, wow, there's nothing wrong with this teacher. So they just came to accept me like that with my uniqueness. Because yes, I'm unique. I've accepted myself and I'm doing my best to help them. So when in the class, they're just attentive, they're okay. They see you as normal. In fact, they, they even concentrate much on you than another person. Because it's like I'm motivating them. Yeah. So that this teacher, because I told the it legal, yes, I have it. And I also have advantages. So I was showing them like my disability card, which I had taken. Sometimes them like a person like me, I only retired at the age of 65. A person like me, I don't pay tax. A person like me, I can import freely. I don't pay any tax at the ports and ETC. And they're like, wow, that's amazing. Although there are some differences between albinism and vitiligo, persons with vitiligo also need sunscreen. Albinism, I don't know what I can say about albinism, but theirs is different from vitiligo. Vitiligo, if you look at my skin, it's just like I'm a European. I, let me say I'm a white man. Yeah, nothing, nothing. But you'll see uh, on those uh, of the albinism, the skin is always different. And they, feel, they always have some pains. The sunscreen is to prevent like uh, sun from encroaching to their skin because it will hurt. They also use caps and it also interferes with the, the high eyesight of the sun. But with vitiligo, it identifies some places. Like you can see my hands, my face, and maybe my legs here. But for albinism, it might be the whole body. Yeah. So a person like me, you might advise me to use sunscreen, but it cannot help. Yeah. Because I don't I'm not affected by sun. Apart from the specs that I wear, that one is just to prevent tears from uh, coming out of my eyes when I'm hit by sunlight. But there is nothing like itching or there is nothing. It's I'm just okay. The precise cause of vitiligo is unknown, but those with the disorder seem to have a genetic tendency towards developing it. But Okal says his is not genetic. The old lineage, if I look at the old lineage from my great-great-grandparents, there is none who has ever suffered from this disease. And it's true. People will tell you it's genetic. You can inherit it. Yeah. So maybe let me say it began, it began with me. Yeah. So you might find people will tell you your children might have it, or even your grandchildren, or the children to your grandchildren. Embracing and accepting yourself is what Clifford Okal advises those with vitiligo and those who are abled differently. To the parents whose children are also suffering from the same, I always feel happy when I see some parents just socializing with their children, more so with the albinism. You'll meet them just with that child, proud, taking pictures, the, the children are happy, that's good. But you'll find some parents just like us, they lock the children up. Now, vitiligo is not a curse, and it should, it should not be treated as so. Vitiligo is beautiful, like they say. It's beautiful for a person who might see it, and it's beautiful for the person who has it. Like me, it's beautiful for me. Why? As uh, Yes, I have vitiligo, but it has also given me some opportunities and platforms. Let your child be exposed in the society. You never know which opportunity will knock on your door via that child. Yeah, you will never know which opportunity will knock on your door via that child. So don't, you will be locking blessings and you don't know. Yeah, so don't. Let them explore what they want. In fact, the moment they socialize with the people, they will, be, they will face stigmatization and need to see yes. But as they grow, they will come to accept and live with the society. But the moment you lock them up and they grow and you want them now to face the world, that's why you now find suicide coming in, they reject themselves or they just hate people naturally.